now we are going to cover testing the vim configuration so as we have already told in order to make vim work at all the first most important thing is you have to have the workflow configuration properly done so related with this you have to do this workflow configuration so you maintain this runtime environment and again this is not a job of probably workflow consultants it's a job of basis so make sure the basis uh, basis team is aware of it and they need to do the configuration sometimes uh, after the vim has gone live suddenly vim is not working the most the first important thing that you have to come as we have covered before in the workflow tutorials is to come here and check whether this has not been tampered generally it has a bunch of jobs that runs and basis team might if the basis team is not really experienced they might close it one might um, suspend one job but that can create a lot of crisis in vim and the workflow world so so first thing if vim is not working you need to check this portion okay once this is checked and if it's still not working then it's the portion of the workflow consultant and the vim consultant to kick in so the next thing after we do the test vim configuration is we test using this single test the vim configuration through the transaction code provided after we do this testing so this is something where we are not really adding an image but we are checking the app code the pre-process that has been added and the different exceptions and buttons that we have done after this Another portion is like workflow is all about assigning. So Vim is related 100% with workflow. So workflow is assigning the right thing to the right people. Now here we'll check the right people and the right user. So based on the Vim document types, you just put it and you can see whether the role has been assigned properly. So this portion covers the the testing of the VIM configuration will do it in details in the system in the next portion.